All right, everybody, welcome to Physics Games. Looking at level 16 now for Shapes IO, and it looks like we need to make essentially this shape that we've already got the factory for, and put a white version of that shuriken on top of it. So let's go back to that factory we have. Well, first let's delete this. And then we're gonna go back to this factory we have. I think it's this one, yep. Now we gotta look at making these shurikens white and then overlaying that on the shape that we've already got going. And I think we're probably okay to delete these. Well, actually it looks like we might wanna keep them, honestly. So maybe we replace one of our factories that we have going with it, or we could just make a whole new one, actually. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll do that, see if we can find another full shuriken shape so I don't have to worry about building it. I guess maybe we can extract some of the shurikens from here and just move them out. Like we use these shapes, we just build over here. I guess that's what we'll end up doing because it seems like uh, I can't find any other shapes that match what we need. So I guess let's get started on that. We've got one, two, three. This guy's kind of trampled. Where's the other one? This one, he's pretty in use. This one's pretty open, so we could take from here. So let's do that. We can get up to eight items a second, so. So we're gonna need a red shuriken and a white shuriken and then a yellow circle. So one of these is gonna be red, one of them's probably gonna be yellow do all our stacking and everything else from there. So these are 1.2 items a second and we need 8 items a second out of it. So 8 divided by 1.2 is 6.6 .6 repeating so I need 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, start of our paint, we're going to need to bring red in, it looks like I'll probably, yeah, I might just bring it from all the way over here and we can use this guy for our red shurikens. Alright, and we should be getting white paint out of there. Perfect, okay. And we got eight items a second of white paint and we need to paint our shurikens white. How much do we paint at? What item of a second? So we need eight of those guys. So I have one, two, was it seven of them? So I need a seven to eight, pretty much. And then I'll need to bring my one shuriken out to eight. And we'll go from there. Seven inputs to eight outputs is disgusting. What the heck is this? Wow, that's gross. I don't like this. I don't know who came up with these, but uh, I mean, good job, I guess. But at the same time, ew. I wish there was a better way. I feel like there's probably a better way to lay out the paint. And if there is, uh, someone let me know. Because this has been something that slows down my factories quite a bit. Alright, nice. Eight a second white shurikens, or at least it should be. Uh, let's make those red shurikens, because that should be easy enough. Basically copy and paste in this thing. Alright, and the last thing we're gonna need is a yellow circle. Is there a circle over here? I'm gonna have to extract one over. This one right here. And what is yellow? How do I make yellow? Red and green. Alright, very inefficient, but it's getting there. Now we need eight item a second circles. So we have all the components now, we just need to actually stack them all on top of each other and get them working. So I think we, maybe we start by stacking the white on top of the yellow and then that shape on top of the red. And our stacker works how fast? 0.75 items a second. So 8 divided by 0.75 is 10.6 repeating, so I need 11. And I currently have 8. So I might do like... 8 to 1, and then 1 to 2, and then each of those goes into a 1 to 6. Maybe that's how we do it. So how does this belt reader thing work? Can this tell me if I'm doing 8 a second or not? It can. I like that. That's not even close to 8. Oh, here we go. Now we're counting. 
Nice, we are getting eight a second, that's good. So let's start, like I said, I'm gonna put the white one on top of the yellow circle, and then we're gonna put the red one on the bottom of that result. One, two, three, four. Repeat that three times. And we have 12, and I'm gonna to need to do that again for the red. So why don't I just go ahead and do that. Well, that output is gonna to need to go on the right hand side now, right? Because that's gonna to wanna to be stacked on top of the red. So I need to move it down by one. Okay. Split this into two. And then each of those is gonna go into a one to six. Okay. Now we want to bring the white into that, so again we need to split it into two. And then we're going to split that into six. Well, maybe we'll start with the other one. This side... ...needs to come up to this top guy. And this guy goes to the one above it, and so on and so forth. Okay, so then we need these to go onto the right hand inputs of each of these guys. Oh no. Oh no. I want to use the tunnels. Or else I'm going to have a very hard time. Hmm. You know what, let's just move them. Screw it. It's too much work to try to get all this stuff figured out when I can just highlight all this and move it backwards. A lot of these tunnels are not necessary whatsoever, but it helps my computer run the game since it doesn't have to render the shapes when they're in there. So I like to just place them where I can. So we've got all those outputs. And those merge. And I want to put that belt reader. Let's see how many a second we're getting. Should be eight. At least that's what we're hoping. Alright, looks like 8 to me. You know, we'll round a little bit. Nice. Alright, so we're getting the right shape in there. Let me go to these settings and uh, maybe slow down the game slightly so it doesn't just destroy my CPU like it is. So if we're getting eight a second and we need 6,000 of them, how many seconds is that gonna take? 6,000 divided by eight is 750, divided by 60 is 12 and a half minutes. So that's gonna take a while. Uh, I guess I could make another one, to be honest. I don't really want to. I don't really want to. Oh, all right, well, I guess we're done before we finish that second thing, but. Unlock the variant of the cutter, it allows you to cut shapes into four parts instead of just two. Alright, finish this guy off and we'll call that good for this video. And there we go, we should be getting 16 a second of those. 8 a second, 12 a second. Come on, jump up. Go to, go to 16. I believe in you. Yeah, there we go. All right. I think that's the highest we've ever delivered, honestly. So that's pretty nice. Feels pretty good. All right, if you enjoyed, drop that like, leave a comment. If you disliked it, hit the dislike and uh, let me know why. If you want to see more content, feel free to hit subscribe. I really appreciate it if you do. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one where we start making this uh, snow globe looking guy. Peace.